Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Thursday, the day before the jobs reports come out tomorrow morning. And we got a green close yesterday. Fantastic. Woohoo. But yeah, you already knew that was coming. Unfortunately, we only got to 4268.50 on that last move at the end of the day. We didn't get to see a close above 4270, which is where we had been closing all prior to that jolts jobs report and the yen intervention rumor on Tuesday. But success, you know, got back up there into the 4260s. And again, with a green close, we're still up over 10% year to date, uh, still up 12.5% year over year. And it is what I said, a very slow October in terms of bullish bouncing. You got to take it slow. You got to take it light. You got to look at your Octobers like I shared for you on your videos. However, there is money to be made. And an example of that is I don't love to post these things in the alert room at the end of the day because there's a lot of people that are new and there's a lot of people that have joined that never interact They simply just read something and go follow it. The 4260 calls are your lotto into the close. Lotto meaning, obviously, don't go throwing an exorbitant amount of money at it. You've got less than an hour and a half left at the end of the day. And again, that's your lottery ticket play. Well, 60 cents. 60 cents went to 842, closed at 320. Closed at 434. Sorry, look over here, 434. So thousand percent fifteen hundred percent whatever it is it's there same as it was there on monday looking back at where we are at and where we are going is the most important part today being thursday the jobs report day coming out tomorrow we're still sitting in limbo 4284.52 is the open for the week. Again, we've had four red weeks going into this, a rarity as of rarity rarities. We closed at 4288 last week. Thus, that's why I'm sticking with my trade of the week the way that it is. The dollar is what this is. This isn't stocks. This isn't weight. This isn't anything else. Your Dow sell off more so than your Russell sell off is dollar. And looking at it in two different ways, you can look at this as a one, two, here's your three, here's your four, and this is your finalized five up to the 300 extension, thus not longer than what wave three was. And at the same time, you can look at it from an ABC point of view, where you've got your A, you've got your B, and your C equaling A would be right up around 107, 87, 88. Wider view, you've ran it right to the 50 retracement, exactly, exactly to the 50 retracement from the highs from back here in September 2022, right when the market bottomed. So again, with the way that this thing has been on an absolute tear with these weekly candles, the dollar is what's in charge. There's times when there's other circumstances that are out there that are in charge of everything going on right now it's all about the dollar so for those of you unaware you're going to have to broaden your spectrum as to this is not your grandfather's stock market and it's not what you were used to doing you know just weeks ago the yen not intervention no changes but that's what gave us our shock there two days ago was that yen intervention rumor right after the jolts job report. What I'm looking at is how I see a major plus 1% day over there on the Nikkei, whereas the Nikkei and the Dow Jones do tend to follow each other. Thus, over here on the Dow Jones, looking at this again, we are right underneath the 2022 close, thus meaning We have given back all of 2023, even though, as you can see, we are still at the major resistance level from 2023, which then became, or 2022, 
which then became the support level for 2023. And that's exactly where we're at. So as bad as it looks, as shitty as it looks, it's not really that bad. So buckle up, Buttercup. October isn't January. It's not March. It's October. Like I shared, it's going to take a while to start getting your movement to the upside and to get your volatility window for the VIX to close down. QQQ. Can't stop table pounding this. Yesterday was, again, I didn't highlight this because I was waiting to throw it out there. And here you go. One, two, three, four. Four out of your last five sessions. The only one missing was that Tuesday where you had the Jolts jobs opening and the yen factor of the rumored intervention. Four out of the last five trading sessions up plus 1% on the day. As you will notice, one, two, three, four, five. Five sessions in a row, you are getting into the 360s. Strength is on the QQQ. SPY, SPX, they're subject to the Dow, they're subject to the Russell. The QQQ is its own animal. It does what the QQQ does, which has greater than 50% of the stocks all out of those 100 are all in seven. Seven of those stocks weigh 50% of the QQQ. The ones that you pay stupid money for, Tesla, not Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, Google, Apple, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, Tesla, Meta, you're paying a lot of money for those options. QQQ, it's QQQ, baby. Stick with it. Get simple. Keep it simple. Four out of the last five sessions up plus 1%. Come over onto the QQQ, and as you can see here, the breakdown below that 357.78 immediately made it that it was the primary focus for the upside bounce after that drop down there on Wednesday night from Tuesday's follow through. Once again, up above 357.78, made it exactly to 360.50, and again, having been in the 360s every day for five days in a row, I'll tell you a little secret. Look at the fucking QQQ 360 calls. Tesla, as I said, 258.94 was going to be coming this week. It's going to be coming this week. It's going to be coming this week. Well, guess what? Came all over the face of everybody that doubted it. Above 258.94 yesterday on that run. However, curb your enthusiasm. You'll see this white trend line that we've come up to back here prior to earnings, back here, back in July when the markets were euphoric. Over here, when we had the bounce over in September, again, when the markets were having that rally at the start of the month. Here's where that trend line is. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. I wouldn't say short Tesla, but I would definitely say don't be an idiot and be getting long on Tesla. You made your run. You got to where you needed to be. Anything on top of this is gravy. Move on to something else. So we leave you with the VIX. And here we are with the VIX, having made its first visit into the 20s since back on May 24th, when NVIDIA created the way to say AI 7 million times with a fake profit that came from Core Weave on a loan. We made it to 20s the other day on the Jolts jobs and the fake yen intervention rumor. Now we're down here back trolling above that 1811. We're above 1811. There's no question about it. We're above 1811 because the price is at 1885. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Crush the VIX Friday. Tomorrow's a jobs report. VIX below 1811, the current situation, the bulls have a chance. VIX below 1622, the volatility window going into October OPEX might be closed and we might start moving forward over on the SPX and SPY. So that's what I've got for you today. Not much at all to go headbanging and 
deciphering that we haven't already gone through. We're sitting here with SPY. This is a clean look. I'll bring you onto the SPY chart. Again, 426.39, current scenario, top side. Above that, you're looking at that 428.42. Above your 428.22, you're looking at your 429.35 for your 431.19 for your 431.98. And that is not going to come in one trading session like everybody had become accustomed to because of the way that we had not only our run up into July, but also our bounces during our August and September drop. This is going to take a couple of days. It's October and it's not going to come easy. But as of right now, those are your spots, same as they were in the early part of the week. 426, 428, 429, 431, 432. Have a great morning. See you in the chat room.